With the addition of new data sources in version 9, Excel Cube can now connect to a data held in Power BI. To connect, you will need to download the connection file for your model from the Power BI site. So firstly, sign in. Once we're logged in, expand the model of the chosen dataset and choose Analyze in Excel and then let that file download. OK, so once the file has been downloaded, go to Excel and add a new Excel cubed grid. We open the New Connection tab and scroll down to Power BI. We now need to browse to the file that we downloaded. And when we click Connect, we'll be asked for our Power BI login details. Once this information has been entered and we click OK, we can choose our database and cube. We're then presented with a standard grid designer showing the content of the model. So let's go ahead and design the layout of the grid. We'll put category into rows, product description onto filters. We'll put calendar year onto columns. And let's put measures into the filter area. We'll choose the sales amount measure. In calendar year, we'll pick the years 2007 to 2009. And then finally, in category, we'll choose the category level. That's our grid design, so let's click OK and insert it. All the normal grid functionality is supported with the Power BI connection. For example, let's add a column calculation between 2008 and 2009. We'll give the column a title of growth and use a simple Excel formula that calculates the 2008 value minus the 2007 value. The grid is still dynamic, so we can move the hierarchies around. I can drag product description down to the right of category and then drill down into that. And let's move category to the filter area of the grid so that we can show how to drive the category from a cell range. So I enter my category into E3 and then open the member selector for category. We'll remove the category level and replace that with cell E3 and click OK. If I now change the category to computers, the grid updates instantaneously. So, in summary, once you've connected to a Power BI, all Excel Cube functionality operates as normal, giving users the Excel Cube flexibility they love against Power BI data.